<laughs> Let's go. Hello, everybody. How you all doing? Hope you're having a great day. We're uh, we're on wipe day, so I've literally wiped about 30 seconds ago. We're the first ones in. So hopefully we'll have a nice little, nice little trip down to our build spot. Again, thank you all so, so much for the support recently. I appreciate every single one of you a ton. This is only making my dreams come true, which is just unbelievable. Super, super grateful. So yeah, thank you all. Welcome back to yet another Solo Rust adventure. Today, I wanted to build in the snow, a biome full of action and of course nodes. Mushrooms. My intentions were to build an incredible solo fortress on top of a snowy mountain. And to say we succeeded is an understatement. I really, really hope you enjoy this action-packed adventure. Hey. Hey. Nice. Following this fight, I now realise I had to build a base. And I was now in the snow, so I just had to find the perfect little build spot. Oh, maybe I could build like somewhere here. That'd be pretty cool. We have a base, boys. Let's go. We can also make a large box, which is awesome. Oh, we can make a tier one. Hey, I'm not going to make it just yet, only because I don't have rope or anything to make a crossbow, but that's good to know, I guess. No way. As time passed, new players would arrive in my area. Because of this, I wanted to farm up a few nodes before they were all gone. Dude, how do I miss that? Oh, that's so silly. How do I miss that? <laughs> okay, we have an airlock. Perfect. I need to find a polar bear somewhere. I feel like all of them are going to be slaughtered. <laughs> Can't see a thing. Okay. I think this guy's shooting at a polar bear. Yeah, he is. Please, please. Hopefully, I kill him and the bear. That would be so good. Oh, please. I could have got him. Yeah, they did. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, that's a win, bro. He had the bear stuff. And his bow. Cool. We were off to a flying start. Hopefully we could keep this momentum. Farming down here. Oh, I'm gonna risk it, I think. What? You can't hit through the ladder, no way. Oh, I'm dead.
Ah, uh, go! Go, 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 go! No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. I have no, I have no cloth, I have no cloth. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Please. No, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Dude. Oh, he's going to see me. I'm going to get raided. Oh, no. After somehow escaping from a few angry gamers, I decided it would be best for me to place a metal door to prevent eco raids. I then continued on about my day, progressing as smoothly as I could. To be honest, I'm kind of worried and I have a lot of stones, so I think I'm just going to do this bit to the base, add another door. No, I'm not. Why is there a player building down there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. I need to come back. Maybe. I need to try and come back. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. <laughs> uh, what do I do? I'm just going to go back over naked. Okay, no, they're back, they're back. Yeah, they're both back. Okay, that's not really a problem. Oh my god. This start was slowly becoming my greatest. I placed my tier 1, crafted a crossbow and nail gun, and took some sewing kits to recycle. I was pretty desperate for cloth. Okay. They go into the... Hmm, okay. Oh wow, what? Thank you very much guys. Got us 300 cloth, which is uh, a lot more than what I was expecting from three sewing kits, but it's all good. <laughs> Despite that 1v3, I died to a prototype on my way back home. Yes, a prototype. 45 minutes into wipe. Bradley hadn't been taken, no patrol heli, cargo or locked crate. Honestly, I had no idea how he managed to get it. Anyways, I was still desperate for cloth, and spawning naked is a little strategy I like to do from time to time in order to obtain some. I'm crazy. Oh my god. Honestly, such an underrated way of gathering cloth. I managed to get to outpost and recycle, and even craft myself a crossbow and revolver for the journey back to base. And luckily for me, the journey home was successful. 
As amazing as this wipe was going, I was still in need of scrap for the tier 2 workbench, allowing me to craft guns and other essential items. So I headed out with the goal of getting scrap and taking out the players I would encounter. They don't want to do it, but you know how this rust life is, bro. It's got to be done. You not see me? Oh, maybe he didn't have a revolver. Oh, he had a no- Oh, wow. Oh. Thank you very much. Why is he 1 HP, dude? <laughs> wow, another full invent back to base. This is, um... This is interesting. I don't really have the space for this anymore. I had been running my furnaces all wipe. Specifically, metal. This meant I was now in a position to upgrade my core, preventing an early raid if one was to occur. Okay, we have a fully sheet metal core within an hour and a half. That's really good. Wow. Looking good. With some base renovations done, I went on a small farming trip in order to refill my furnaces. I then headed into airfield where I was unfortunately caught off guard. Oh, oh. after regearing, I headed to Lighthouse to see if I could get a green card before meeting my new neighbours. There we go. There is also a hazmat guy down there. Interesting, okay. I feel like that guy has a saw on his back. He does, yeah. He looted the python for me. Dude, oh my god, I almost threw so hard. And just like that, I had three tier 2 weapons without even having a tier 2 workbench. I didn't want to roam them just yet as I couldn't craft med syringes, so I went back out with my trusty crossbow and revolver to farm scrap and eliminate players. Perfect. Perfecto. There's a dude there with a saw, maybe? Or a crossbow. Yeah, saw. No.
Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm getting to the horse. Oh my god, his hazmat teammates there. <laughs> Get me out of here. I'm getting to that flipping horse, bro. Please on the wall. Oh. Oh, he had 500 scrap. Oh, no way. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. We need to get back to base bad. We need to get back to base real bad. I didn't look at the loot in the time, to be fair. I was just panicking. I just wanted to get out of there as quick as possible. But, oh my goodness, this is a lot of loot. Oh, let's go, man. These wins as a solo are incredible. I decided to upgrade my base a little and place my tier two, allowing me to craft garage doors and medical syringes. That'll be our roof access later on. Very nice, very, very nice. I then focused on the interior of my base, deploying the necessary items that would make my base stronger and easier to navigate through. After completing this, it meant that I could now focus on farming to progress my base and PVP. Okay, this is kind of the core. I'm sure some of you care, so in here we have the guns. Under here we have a little campfire. This is like our miscellaneous sort of box with a bit of food. Components and deployable stuff, arm, um, just like the junk, and then uh, charcoal. So, yeah. How pretty. <laughs> Yay! Bit of decoration. Looks so cool, man. Woohoo! Not a bad little farm run. Got a decent amount. Why is he meowing? Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my crib, dog. Ah, there is somebody here. Oh my god. What a box. I don't know if that was the guy I heard. I'm gonna go see what he has there, of course. That wasn't him. There is another guy up there. I think I'll just leave him. I now had information that my neighbours were 4 deep and had tier 2 and 3 weapons, meaning I needed to be extra careful when out exploring. What's that hitch of lag bro, it sucks. Wow, I did not know I was that bad at the game. Clearly I wasn't careful enough. Luckily, I had an abundance of weapons at my disposal, so I could get straight back to work. You can make one more garage door, yippee. Damn. Kind of weird, I don't know. It looks cool though, I quite like it. I was chilling in base when I heard a few gunshots in my neighbour's direction. I grabbed a silencer and went to check it out. This dude on a zipline. I could definitely kill this guy, right? Literally just a hazmat. <laughs> oh, shotgun trap. I'm so tempted to go back to base with that. I'm not kidding. Oh, poor dude. And the ladder. Okay. He's trying to tell me something. I'm coming back to base. This shotgun trap was an amazing find. As I had a drop down shoot in my base, I could use this to slow down any potential raiders. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're loading this with 58. We're just gonna be 
horrifically annoying to these guys. If anyone tries to raid me, that is a deadly shotgun trap. That is actually deadly. For the next 20 minutes, it was more of the same. Farming, refilling furnaces, and general base work. This wipe was incredible, and I couldn't be happier with how it was going. Like there's another airlock if I ever need that, so that's pretty cute. I really should have walled there. Anyways, after this death, I took a small break, crafting up SARS for when I came back. OP spot, bro. Yeah, that has given us a ridiculous amount of components. Wow. Playing solo Rust is not all sunshine and roses. A new duo had moved into the area, and to be honest, I died. And lost, well, all of my guns. These guys were a bit too good, and I knew I had to make up for all of my losses the following day. This would be the last time I would encounter said duo, so hopefully things were going to be all sunshine and roses from now on. Hey, we're not raided. I began my day by doing a little farming and then heading to outpost where I'd recycle a chunk of the components I had sitting in my base. Buy some tack gloves. Hey, okay, 600 cloth, that is a good amount. Hopefully, that'll do us nicely. That's a lot of metal frags. Whilst out here in a few barrels in the hunt for gears, I noticed that my neighbor's base had been decaying. Oh, damn. I mean, I don't really need revolvers, but I'll take them. Okay. Interesting. Also, that garage door looks insane, so I'm going to buy that, like, right now. That's so nice, bro. No way. And it matches the theme with the little red. Oh, that's such a win, bro. That is such a win. Whilst doing a little loot run of airfield, I heard something that didn't sound quite right. Oh, I did not notice that. That's worrying. Oh, that's an actual player underneath. Scientists don't run. Well, not unless there's someone down there with them. I hear everyone killed, I think it's just him. Oh my god, oh my. Oh gears. 12 gears, 12 gears, 12 gears. Oh my god. Yes, 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 let's go. 
12 gears, bro. 14. Oh, no, I had to. Ah! What a way to start the day. With the gears this guy had, I was now able to place ladder hatches, allowing me to progress the base. I knew I had to make up for previous losses, and this was just the beginning. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, he has diving stuff on, dude. He's literally... He could be loaded. He could be loaded. Oh, yeah, he was absolutely stacked. He couldn't even take my stuff. And I bet you he lives here. Hold up. Yeah, he does. He does. Sorry, bro. It had to be done. Just put his bag down as well. I'm sorry, dude. It had to be done. I actually do apologize. But it didn't have to be done, but I did it anyway. Please no dislike. Please no dislike. He now has a five minute timer. I need to make a satchel. Go, go. Oh, I'm just scrap, dude. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That was so worth it. Sorry, Walter, but don't kill me while I'm farming wood, bro. <laughs> My first local eviction was a success. I then decided to explore the deeper parts of the snow, specifically around Arctic Research Base. Oh my god. I didn't know there was two, bro. Home sweet home. Yo, yo, Hang on. okay, 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 this is awesome. We can also have like loot in here if we actually wanted to. If we actually place a campfire as well, just before the box, it means we can get up onto the box without making a jumping noise. And it gives us an extra little angle. We can stand up on it. Yeah, that's just a little tip in case any of you uh, didn't know that. And now we have a pretty awesome little roof peak thing i guess it's not really a shooting floor i mean it kind of is but yeah no nah, this is sick bro two videos in a row where i have a tier three what is happening what is happening my base was almost complete. All I had to do was add custom gatehouses, a compound, and other deployables. But that could wait for now. I also added honeycomb to the second floor for extra protection. I was now ready to PvP and raid. I think we are pretty much complete. Oh, dude, look at that. That's so funny. That's actually a funny-ass base. Looks cool, though. Now, nah, rate this. Looks sick. Airdrop, what? Holy, no tons of OP, bro. Oh, 
Oh, oh. He fumbled, he fumbled hard. And he bought cloth for me. What a legend. Oh my goodness. Double airdrop? That's pretty awesome. And like I said, I was going to focus on a bit of PvP for now. So I headed straight back out. doesn't know. Silencer is so good. How is he headshot? Like... I'm not taking any chances, dude. Wow. Just look at the components, bro. What? This is insane. I've decided that before I chuck these airdrops, I am going to design some gatehouses and get a compound. And don't laugh at me. Because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with gatehouses. Literally no idea. I'll do it like this, I guess. I think that's cool. Yeah, that should probably work. I knew it bro, I knew it dude. I heard someone and there he is. Little rat. Oh my god, what a little rat. Okay, that works pretty well, I think. I think this will do. Need to craft the walls. I literally need like two more. Yeah, nice. We have a compound. Just have to get the barricades on, but I'll do that right now. With my compound in place, this mini solo fortress was coming along nicely. I didn't have refinery or large furnace BP, so getting those would be essential. But for now, I continued on with my day. Oh my, holy meds. Only ammo as well. Why was he running around with over a stack? <laughs> yeah, festivity. I'm going to chuck a bag in my compound as well. Let's hide it away. As night fell and my compound completed, I thought it would be the perfect time to chuck my airdrops. I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks clear. I think. Rocket launcher? What the heck? What, oh, explosive ammo? Explosive ammo, a really good raiding tool that would come in extremely handy in the future. I learned it straight away. Oh god, I'm gonna go recycle. 
I have so much on me, bro. Oh, this is gonna be... Wow, yeah, I have so much. Okay. Oh my word. Almost 1k scrap. I need to leave. Now. Yes. Oh. My word. Oh my word. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. With the scrap, I can now research large furnace and oil refinery. Smelting ore and crude oil. Look at this, we're fully up and running now. Let's go. So we'll do that, I reckon. Half and half. While waiting for all of my stuff to smell, I of course headed out to do a bit of exploring. Hey, did have a jack cover. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did not realise he had a gun. I thought he had a crossbow. That is unfortunate for me because now I have to med are they not dead oh my god are you serious Serious. I figured that if I was going to win a 1v3, I would need a better weapon. Equipping my M39, I headed into the direction they ran off into. However, luckily for me, this guy was by himself and I got my SAR back. That's the silence AK. Hmm. I'm gonna go depot. Right, I reckon it's time to do a little bit of base scouting. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a little bit of a different kit. I don't really want to use my best kit in the M39. Wooden, wooden door two by one. Could Molotov that, actually. I would never spend 400 scrap on a Molotov, but because it's four swipe next week, I don't really care. Okay, not bad. Level one and a furnace. Oh, okay. Not terrible, honestly. Oh, it's not bad. It isn't bad. I'll take that. It's not profit in low grade, but not awful. freeze up a box in our core just chuck all like the rubbish stuff in there that i'm just never going to use ever again I'm just going to chuck a couple of depot boxes out here as well i don't know why but i also feel like it's a good idea to upgrade these just so they don't get soft-sided i feel like i might be smart i don't really know it seems smart <laughs> Ooh, 
We were doing so, so well, and with the metal I had been smelting all wipe, I was actually able to upgrade my honeycomb, making this base even tankier. I've never had so much sheet metal on my base. Wow. Dude, I just raided, I just experimented raided a base, like down here. And my file corrupts because of a stupid NVIDIA update, bro. Like, oh my god. But yeah, we raided this base here. I killed uh, two counters. I killed one there. And I killed one, like, over there somewhere. They had a Tommy and a Sar, so that was pretty cool. But, yeah. Bang. It was a sheet metal door and two woodens. And then, obviously, the TC. But it literally, I've taken everything out, obviously. Oh, I haven't taken the TC loot out. Okay. This was TC loot. It was alright. It wasn't great. But, that's not the point, bro. I literally killed two pi- oh, <laughs> They were nice kills as well, man. NVIDIA 1, Cali nil. But don't worry, we do a couple more Explo raids. It's just a shame I didn't catch this one. So we now have more items to add to our garden. <laughs> I hadn't taken the Tommy out for a roam yet, so I decided to go relatively far from my base to see how active other areas of the map were. no comment why does he have so much on him absolutely no comment uh that guy had 800 gp on him as well so that just gives me so much more to, to use uh, it's seven Bro, I swear when I'm looting, I don't actually pay attention to how much. 700 scrap. Or 800, pretty much. 200 crude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that is a win. <laughs> Gonna head over to Arctic Research Base. There might be some, some AK players over there. Who knows? Spawned without me even needing to use the card. How awesome is that? This is an absolute amazing use of scrap, guys. Definitely worth it. I would 100% recommend this. I just have so much scrap, like, I don't even know what to do with it, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty nice skin. I decided it was time to raid another base. On my adventures back and forth to airfield, I noticed a little 2x1 with metal doors, so I went over to investigate. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper to go through the wall, so let's do it. Oh my gun broke! No! No wood, no wood. Oh. All I saw was like so much ore, bro. Like so much ore. Oh. It's not bad, boys. I. I think this could be profit. Maybe. Nah, it is. It definitely is profit. Damn, that's that's awesome. Looking back at it now, I'm not really too sure if it was profit. Either way, it was a really good raid. I depoted the loot and then I headed out with the MP5 as I wanted to use it. Idiot, bro.
Is that an AK? Oh my god, it is. No way. Let's go. My god, that's awesome. I now had one of the best guns in the game. I headed back over to Milton's to see if I could catch this solo player again. Oh nine. What? What the? F What's going on? I, th I think it's the same guy. I'm almost certain it's the same guy. An L96, a gun I hadn't held in well over a year, something I never managed to get. I was definitely going to have some fun with this, but that was a task for day three. I roamed around with the AK for a while, but unfortunately was shot in the back. This definitely wasn't going to be the last AK I had my hands on. Oh my god, day three not raided. Damn. I began day three roaming with the L9, where I found myself at launch site and someone doing the run. Oh. Deleted, honestly. Oh my god. That was awesome. I don't know if that was him though, and I think the guy with the pump, there's a guy with the pump there. I don't know though. This guy had a gun though, am I driven? Oh, whatever. I swear that guy, I swear he had a saw. I, I don't know, doesn't matter, couldn't find it. Anyway, why was he not holding me there with the pump? That's an L on his behalf, bro. That's actually an L for him. Damn. That's a lot of stuff. After depoting, I headed straight back out with the L9, where I was hearing a rocket raid in the distance. I think it's compounded as well, so I can't even get in. Yeah, it is. There's actually no point in me even being here. <laughs> ah, so annoying. Oh shit, what the f- No! Oh my god, no. All four of them are literally on me, bro. Dude, I'm so dead. Like, I literally am so dead. It's not even funny. These mummy wraps might actually save me. Out of some sort of miracle, I was able to escape unscathed. However, I still wanted to toy with these guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna be that little rat, bro. <laughs> After having a little bit of fun, I headed back in the direction of my base. Wait, what? I'm not gonna lie, I have no. Oh my. So, where do I collect it? Oh. Okay, interesting. Wow. 
Wow. It's pretty awesome spray. Okay, now we have a ridiculous amount of low grade. That is crazy. I went back into the same area, however, I got myself into a little bit of a pickle. What? No. What? How is bro not dead? These kids, man. Okay. There was a duo taking Bradley, so I went over to investigate with the M39 and of course the silencer. Oh, incoming Cali Rage. I should probably cut that before your ears bled. After this, I went back but unfortunately died. The server had gotten rather quiet and I felt like I had my fun on this server and my time was up. I left all my doors unlocked and open for some lucky individual to stumble across and have what was left of my loot. I really hope you guys enjoyed this solo video. I sure enjoyed playing it and making it. I'll see you next week for another Solo Rust adventure.